I think I have a phone addiction. Yes, symptoms include inability to focus, checking, rechecking, and checking again with little to no increments in between, headaches from blue light, and lots of wasted time. According to my calculations, if we were to continue at this rate of an average of 3.5 hours on the phone each day, by the end of this year, we'd have 53 days on our phone. Un unacceptable. I know. So what are we gonna do about it? Let's lay down some ground rules. Number one, lock up phone. Number two, no cheating. Bench, can I borrow your- Number three, no other gadgets or gizmos. Except for Logic Pro and my school modules. <sighs> Sign here, please. So I just finished recording that title sequence and I was about to reach for my phone because I figured, okay, what am I gonna do next? I use my calendar app on my phone to let me know what to do because I do time blocking. I don't even think this watch is correct time, so I need to fix that time right now. Dad, what time is it? By the way, if you're wondering, this watch is from Bataille, London. It's around the time that I go and eat, so I'm going to be preparing some lunch. I wrote down my recipes on my notebook because I don't have my phone to look at it. We are going to be having some shrimp tempura. Of course, it's gluten-free and a vegan batter, but shrimp is not vegan. That is because I actually have to challenge the food, which means I have to test whether I react badly to that food. So if I have an allergy, I'll know about it today. The days when my um, meals are not super healthy, which right now it's not super healthy, I just drink my greens. I can't even tell the time. It's been, it's been 20 minutes. That's it? Oh gosh, time is so slow. Do you hear all of the different instruments in the house just being played? This is why it's so hard to film. Solana's playing her recorder, Ben's playing the piano. My dog is trying to get my attention. If you're wondering, the reason why I'm doing this challenge is because I tend to be very distracted and I just am so reliant on my phone. Every time I have a question, oh, what's that person's name again? Boom, the answer is there. My mind is not working anymore, I feel. And maybe start writing for 30 seconds and then I'm already thinking about something else. Like, I just want to be able to focus on the things that are important. Deep focus, not just, you know, surface level focus, but focus on the things that I care about so that I can, you know, do things of substance. I just need a reboot. I need to be reminded of how cool it is to not be on my phone. I'm not trying to blame my phone for my lack of discipline. But I think that if you're trying to build a new habit, or suppress a bad one. Get rid of all of the things that make that habit possible. <laughs> one nap later. I'm so groggy, I'm so sorry. I feel like, I'm like, am I really supposed to be doing this or? What's going on? I really need to do my school. I think it's going to be very helpful to not have my phone to distract me because I really have a hard time doing that straight but I want to discipline myself today. This dough has to chill, so I'll do this, I'll do my modules, and then I'll bake it after. It's my room part. For those wondering, I'm taking my bachelor's in theology. I am learning about the attributes of God and just who he is. And there's just so many things that I just cannot comprehend. Like, God himself is the creator. Therefore, he has never been created. He depends on no outside source to continue to exist. In and of himself has the ability to be. And I think sometimes my 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 idea of who God is is so small that I think I have the authority to question. Solana and I had a conversation actually. And what came up was that God makes no mistakes. And therefore if we wish we were another way like if we wish we were born like this we are indirectly but directly telling god that he made a mistake and like who am i to question the god of all creations decision to make me the way i'm supposed to be in his eyes and i think that's what's so wrong about comparison and that's definitely something that I struggle with being on social media a lot. Even if I don't recognize it, I feel bad about the state of where I am 
because other people's lives seem to be so much better. But that's so much effort put on thinking about the lives of other people when I could be rejoicing in the fact that wherever state I am right now, God has allowed me to be here and he has a bigger purpose for this all, you know. I'm gonna be finishing these last few pages and I think we should go outside. Hola, mi amigos. My younger brother, Benj, got me a skateboard for Christmas and I never opened it yet. So that's kind of a testament to how much I've been going out and exploring. I was into skateboarding for a good minute and then I wasn't into it anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a skateboarder by any means. Like, I just kind of like the feeling of being on wheels. Love driving as well. I hopefully will get better at skateboarding. I still have that fear of falling. So I have to get over that soon. I don't know, man. I don't really want to fall, you know? But I guess that's part of it. My camera died right before we were going to watch the sunset together, which was super sad because I wanted to show you the beautiful sunset. But um, having my camera dead was actually something that was different for me. I, I, I don't know, like I feel like my mind shifted when I was no longer thinking about, okay, what do I have to film? What angle? Like, what do I have to tell, you know, my viewers? The problem is not necessarily my phone. The problem is the lack of awareness because when I'm on my phone, it's usually like pack, 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 pack. We're thinking about this, we're thinking about that. I'm, you know, talking to this person about next week. I'm planning for tomorrow. I'm looking at people's lives from three days ago. There's just so much about what's gonna happen, what has happened, but there are not a lot of moments that are about right now. Maybe this is just an encouragement to to look at the root of something. You know, not just the symptom. The symptom of lack of awareness, the symptom of wanting to be distracted, the symptom of not honoring and seeing the beauty of right now is using my phone too much. It's funny, like if I reach a challenging time in what I'm making or doing, I'm like looking for my phone <laughs> to like distract me, but it's not really possible. I'm writing a song at the moment and it's gonna be the final song for my EP, which is finally coming together. It took a really long time for me to finish my EP, but that's only because when I write, I really wanna be in the zone. Like I, I it's very difficult for me to just be like, okay, I'm gonna write today. There are times when I have a hard time getting into that zone. So right now that I'm kind of clear in the head, that's really the perfect time to start writing. I don't like reach for my phone as much as I thought I would, which is pretty good. But um, also it's only been a day. No, it's been seven hours. <gasps> That's it? No. Wait. I'll sleep around 10, so that's 7, 8, 9, 10. That's three hours of still not having my phone. And then I'll sleep until I'll sleep until 6, and then tomorrow we'll have 7 more hours, 6 more hours. Yeah, we, we got this, we got this. I, I have to finish this. I'm sorry, I have to finish this. Okay. So here's the plan, Stan. <laughs> I'm going to be fixing all of my drawers. As of right now, things are just where they ended up right here i'm kind of trying to build a vanity with my sister it's still really messy as you can tell but i'm trying to like fix a little vanity here because there's a mirror up there so over here i have my makeup which is oh, the messiest thing in the world i don't even know what these things are like i've yet to put this oh my gosh i completely forgot about this i love fixing but i just wish i had music like Anyway, there's just a bunch of stuff here and what I'm gonna do is um, right beside the vanity I'm gonna put all of the things that I need to use to get ready. So that's makeup That's like Shades 
you know, right now face shields, masks, all of that's here because it's like easy to access. And then inside my closet, I'm gonna put like sentimental memorabilia kind of things like letters and stationary stuff and old notebooks because those are the things that I don't really need much. It's more of like a storage space. And then my workstation will have the things that I actually use to work. Like those are my pens, my pencils, you know, equipment. Hi guys, I just finished fixing up. I'm just too tired, I can't do all of it tonight. Which is good because it's already 10.36. I'm feeling great. I don't I don't feel like uh, an inclination to have to use my phone right now. And I feel great to have to, you know, to just get these stuff sorted and fixed. And have a clearer mind. I know where things are. I will catch you later, alligator. Morning. I woke up later than I should have, but it's okay. It's already 8.15, so I'm going to take a shower and then we're gonna make some breakfast. Something that I noticed is that everything is much slower. <laughs> and I quite like the slowness. I'm waiting for my waffles to make, to bake, to waffleize. But since these are vegan pancakes or vegan waffles, they take a little bit longer to bind. Because they don't have eggs. If you were thinking of trying to do this 24 hour challenge or maybe, you know, you want to do it for a week or something, here are some of my suggestions. Watch, very helpful. <laughs> Let your family know. Let the closest people to you know that you are going on a break. But you don't have to tell everyone. I didn't announce it on social media or anything. You might want to plan ahead. You might have meetings on that day or whatever. Just treat it as um, a solid day where like you can't plan anything um, another thing I'd recommend is to bring a notebook around because it kind of helps me to jot down my thoughts and maybe there are some things that I need to do on my phone that I can't do right now just put it there another thing I would suggest is like actually plan activities because if you don't have activities at the moment you're going to be like what am I gonna do but since I planned some activities that I wanted to do, that I've always wanted to do, but just never had the time to do it. Um, I never really felt bored. So that's nice. <laughs> I'm really burning this waffle already. I want it crispy. Today we have vegan waffles, sans the Nutella. <laughs> Obviously, if you are strictly vegan, don't add the Nutella, but really felt like Nutella today. Mm. I have some almond milk. It's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining. The grass is green. The waffles crispy. I can't take soft waffles. I don't know what what is. What after I eat? I really want to spend some time with God just to reflect on the time that has elapsed because I think I think we just need to hang out me and God <laughs> so I changed my shirt again because I got Nutella on it um, I think I've had so many outfit changes in this video because of my clumsiness but it's okay i'm just wrapping up my devotions this morning it all goes back to the question of who am i and what am i supposed to do but when caught up with the lives of everybody else i'm giving people the authority to answer that question for me to tell me who i am to give me an identity but there are two different things in the world, only two different things. There's the creator and the creation. So I think that's where I find that false sense of, like I feel fragile at times because I am allowing 
something that is not meant to dictate who I am. To dictate who I am. Which are the opinions of others. The ways of the world. But we shouldn't be dictated by the circumstances that are around us. To be a certain way, to act a certain way, to love a certain way. We should be dictated by the truth. The truth of the matter is, whatever happens, you may love. You have been given the ability to love whatever happens. Love yourself, to love others. I just kind of need to brain dump. But if I were to summarize what I got from today's devotion, is that when our focus is on the creation instead of the creator, then we're never going to be able to do what we are called to do. And whatever that thing is that distracts you from drawing from the creator, from being inspired, truly inspired by the creator, I think those things need less of a hold on you. They need less of a hold on me. That's why I'm doing this. Because you get that false sense of security. You get that false sense of validation. But it's not. It's not sustainable and it won't last. But what will last, which is why we can end this video happily and all these things, is the love of God himself. Which is the beginning of all happiness, and joy, and peace. Which are a lot of things that I struggle to find when I'm too caught up in distracting myself with other things. Most especially, my phone. So I want to ask you, what are you distracting yourself from? And what is the distraction? Maybe a little change may bring you closer to the person that you truly know is yourself. Yeah, I think that's the end of this video. What time is it? your thought Luke 12 verse 34 says for where your treasure is there your heart will be also I treasure my time my love language is quality time if I love you if I care about you I'm gonna give you my time I treasure my energy I will exert effort if it's something that's important to me I treasure my money my possessions and I treasure my mind or whatever I focus on. And a lot of those things have been misplaced. And I guess my heart followed. But your heart is a very valuable thing. And you have to guard your heart. You can't expose it to things that aren't kind. You shouldn't expose it to things that aren't really meant to take care of it. I will try my best to lean towards the positive side of social media. The fact that it gives me this platform, the fact that the fact that I can talk to you right now because of social media, I'll capitalize on that. The fact that on Instagram, yes, there is this feed and explore page that can eat up five hours of my life but there's also the dms that allow me to connect with the people that i have not seen in so long 
to connect with the people that I truly love and I truly enjoy being around and speaking to. It's not either or. It's not I'll have my phone or I won't. It's I'll have my phone, but what will I do with it? Technology and advancements are amazing. It shows how much the world is progressing and we are able to survive through this pandemic because of our devices. Hi. <laughs> I thought maybe you might need a refresher on the good side of being online. And I've got your back, of course. And of course, I'd like to thank this site as well that has gotten my back. Thank you so much to Skillshare for being the sponsor of today's video. If you didn't know, Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people can come together and take the next steps for their creative journey. Whatever it is, whether it's graphic design or it's content creation or maybe it's freelancing or even pottery. Whatever class it is that suits you the best, I bet you will find it on Skillshare. I've been very fascinated with screenwriting at the moment, so Joshua Dickinson's class that is called Write Your Screenplay is one that is right up my alley. Here he will cover the fundamentals of writing, characters, themes, basically everything you need for effective storytelling. For less than $10 a month, you can access all of these well-curated, easy-to-follow, and ad-free classes on Skillshare. If you would like to further explore Skillshare, you can click the link in my description, and if you are one of the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click that link, you will be getting a free trial to premium membership. So go ahead, take the good that the internet has to give you, and let's get back into the video. But at the end of the day, it is our role as responsible citizens of the digital realm to put our treasures where our heart will want to follow. 